Hi guys, Paige with Fathom Realty here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about home inspections. And I really like this topic because I also I come from a construction background. So I, I I love stuff like this. I love being able to provide this service for my buyers because I think it's a very, very powerful tool to better protect my clients. So I, what I've done is I have written down some frequently asked questions that I get all the time. That way I can lay everything out on the table and that way you can better educate yourself and knowledge is power, we all know that. So um, question number one is, what is a home inspection? So home inspection is a detailed report of the condition of the home that you're about to purchase. And again, powerful tool. It's just gonna protect you and make sure that no sudden surprises come up and after you close the deal and uh, is there any safety hazards and it's very important to know what you are buying. I always, always thoroughly go in detail about this with my clients, regardless if it's a first time home buyer, somebody doing new construction. I, I do walk them through that. And if you were to not get a home inspection, what could arise from that? I always just try to lay that all out on the table. That way you can better understand. Uh, so question number two is how long do inspections take? Well, that varies. Um, I have a list of my inspectors on my vendor list that I always throw out there because I know that they're going to go over and beyond for my clients and the fact that I generally I have a, a pretty good window of when the inspection is going to be done and when I'm going to get the report back. So inspection does take some time. So roughly around four to five hours and they're very, um, they're not that expensive and they're worth every penny. That is something that I will add to that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a thorough research on the condition of the home. So that's just a better way to explain it. So question number three is, um, should you be there for the inspection? And I always, I always throw out there, listen, I'm going to be there regardless, no matter what. Um, but I go at the very tail end because I like to stay out of the inspector's way. I like to be respectful um, because I know that the inspector is going to walk me through the property and explain all the um, concerns and all the items that do pop up. So um, I always like to point that out, but you're more than welcome to go to the inspection. I, like I said, I just like to be respectful of their space and make sure that um, I'm not wasting any of their time because chances are they probably have to attend another inspection later on that day, depending on where that property is. Okay, so, and how will problems they find affect the contract? That's an awesome question and an important question. So depending on what comes up, is it a, a, a big, big situation or is it something that is not a deal breaker? You just have to be able to kind of point that out. And your real estate agent should be able to walk you through the whole inspection report, give their input on what they think about it, um, and just kind of walk you what these terms mean and um, maybe even trying to get a quote for you on, on the side. I always try to do that. Uh, because my husband and I, we do run a construction business, so I'm, I'm very easily able to get that done. And I think it's just a winning factor for the client because then they're kind of visually understanding, hey, this could be a big issue, but it's only going to cost me this amount to get it done. And that, and I don't think that that would be a deal breaker. So, um, or you could have 
if it's a very big issue, let's say that there's, you know, um, standing water in a crawl space. I've had that happen before. And um, negotiating, will this be fixed before we close the deal or um, do a credit toward to the buyer, um, a reduction? There's many, many ways you could do this. Um, so that, that's really kind of how it would affect the contract. But like I said, every situation is different. And um, just being able to come up and negotiate the best situation for both sides, I think is very, very important. Um, so question, what was my next? Oh, how do you find a good inspector? The number one thing that I recommend is that you reach out to your agent and see if they have a inspector on their vendor list that they have had previous uh, services with, if it's personal or if it's being done for other clients and uh, and anyone on their vendor list, it, they probably have gone over and beyond for their previous clients as well as themselves. And I know that's how it is for me. I've got a inspector on my list that I just love and adore and he's always my, my number one to refer out. Um, some people like to shop around. Um, in this market, things move very quickly, so um, having that time to shop around may be limited for you, depending on what was agreed upon. Um, but make sure that you look at reviews if you're looking online. Um, there's many ways that you can go about looking for a really good inspector. But your real estate agent is probably going to be your best bet. Um, now, what happens if the home inspector does not catch something? Um, this, I would advise that you reach out to a real estate attorney and, and have a conversation with them about what that situation is because you want to find out what's this able to be detected i mean should the inspector caught this um depending on what that situation is the inspector is going to come in and do a thorough inspection but we're not going to tear down every single wall and look at the insulation either so there might be something that is missed but um hopefully i hope that this does not happen to you and um but Sometimes in, during inspections, some things are missed or some things don't arise till later. And um, you may think that it it should have been caught through the inspection. It just kind of depends on what the situation is. So those are the most frequently asked questions that I constantly get, especially in this market. Um, I encourage everybody to make sure they get an inspection done. I think it's really important and I also think it's such a powerful tool for us realtors to better protect our buyers. So that is my input on that and hopefully I provided some great information for you. And again, if you guys have any more questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, and if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button at the bottom. All right. Bye guys. Have a great rest of your day.